Attack on Titan, 10 Characters Who Didn't Stick to the Plan Strategizing is essential in the Attack on Titan universe, but the characters don't always follow through with the plan. In the Attack on Titan universe, strategy is imperative to success. Both the heroes and villains collaborate with their allies in order to overcome difficult odds and make the most of their current situations using whatever resources are on hand. However, there have been characters who've deviated from the plan sometimes even their own, creating complications in the conflict and surprising twists for the overall narrative. By identifying them, we can better appreciate how others are forced to work around their natural roguishness and tendency to call their own shots on the battlefield. Warning, this list will contain manga spoilers. 10. Daz's fear paralyzes him prevents him from contributing. Daz was one of the scouts' least impressive members, having often expressed his fear and unwillingness to fight. This was most prominently seen in the Trost conflict, where his superiors threatened to shoot him if he retreated. Although Daz's panic is already problematic, it's even worse and inciting others to flee the battlefield as well. Ultimately, if more soldiers follow Daz's example, the warriors would have had no problem kidnapping Aaron or destroying Parody with a Titan onslaught. 9. Mikasa has a tendency to deviate from the plan when Aaron is at risk. Mikasa almost always attempted to deviate from the plan whenever her beloved Aaron was at risk. The clearest example came from his trial before Dayla's Zachary where Armin had to physically restrain her in order to stop her from attacking Levi. It was seen again during the raid by the military police, where Aaron's abductors drove past a gate and out of sight. Mikasa sought to pursue them immediately, although doing so would have meant that she was significantly out of range from the other scouts. While she makes a fine soldier, her impetuousness puts everyone at risk. 8. Reiner blew the warriors cover prematurely since he couldn't take the pressure. The warriors spent several years concealing their identities from the denizens of parody and acting as a member of the scouts. After a perilous encounter at Utgard Castle, Reiner finally cracked under pressure and flagrantly told Aaron that he was the armored titan. Taking it a step further, he also brawled with Zeke in order to prioritize Annie over the founding titan before the second battle for Shiganshina. Both actions were a betrayal of his master's interests and illustrate his lack of self-discipline. 7. Keith Shadis didn't stick to his own plan to sabotage Aaron. Initially, Keith Shadis sought to sabotage Aaron's ODM gear as a favor to Grisha Jaeger. Since they were old comrades in arms. He didn't want the man's son to face the danger of the scout world. After garnering Aaron's perseverance, however, Keith finally cracked and offered him a set of working ODM gear. His change of heart would be a massive credit to Parody, as the pure Titans would have eventually stormed the walls without the aid of the attack Titan. However, Keith would also later earn of his decision's consequences. 6. Kenny betrayed Rod after learning the truth about the founding Titan. At first, Kenny followed Rod Rice wishes because he thought he could eventually steal the founding titan and use its power for himself. He was only informed of the truth at the latter half of the attack on the cathedral, prompting his change of heart to free Aaron. Although Kenny didn't stick to the plan, his betrayal didn't cost his former master much. Historia still would have broken Rod's back, forcing him to drink the spilled syringe and become a titan. 5. Nile eventually betrayed the nobles he swore to protect. Nile Dock was the member of the military police responsible for arresting Erwin at one point. He was present at the commander's trial and almost stood by for his execution. After Dot Pixis revealed the corruption of Parody nobles by staging a Titan attack, Nile grew to realize the corruption of the monarchy he served. By betraying their plan to have Erwin killed and instructing his men to stand down, he officially took away the fake King Fritz's final line of defense. 
4. Annie's inability to follow the military police got her captured. Annie was only captured because she fell for Armin's ruse and allowed him to lure her near a tunnel. When gazing into the darkness, she immediately suspected a setup and was promptly ambushed by a dozen members of the scouts. Additionally, she pursued Aaron before even realizing that he was the coordinate since she figured that claiming the attack titan would be a sufficient consolation prize for the warrior's early return home. Both of these factors were to Marley's detriment and deviated from the initial plan laid out for her. 3. Emer deviated from her allegiance to the royal bloodline after Aaron's visit. Having felt an obligation to her beloved King Fritz, Emer dutifully continued to sculpt titans for his royal bloodline long after both of their deaths. However, that all changed when Aaron used Zeke in order to breach the paths and speak with her about the concept of freedom himself. By deviating from the plan established for centuries by the Fritz family, Emer enabled the rumbling and caused an untold amount of destruction. 2. Historia deviated from the plan set by Rod Rice on two separate instances. At first, the plan for Historia was to be whisked into obscurity as a member of the Scout Regiment. After Emer's departure from the country, the future queen vowed never to allow others to define what was best for her. Not only would this encourage Historia to assume her true identity despite the threat of Kenny and the military police, but it also helped her stand up to Rod Rice before he could force her to take the founding titan. 1. Aaron didn't stick to Zeke's eugenics plan started the rumbling instead. At first, Zeke agreed to help Aaron access the royal bloodline on the condition that the founder's power would be used to eradicate the Eldian race. The man claimed that since his people and the rest of the world couldn't live in peace, the former had to be exterminated as bloodlessly as possible. When Aaron actually reached Emer Fritz, he reversed Zeke's plan by activating the Wall Titans and causing a global massacre. His deviation from Zeke's plan was so heinous that Mikasa was forced to put him down.